In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is just set up a, a little bit better of a scene. So I'm just going to delete what I got here, classic, and paste in a scene that I already made. So I have a camera, Susan, and two lights. So this is very basic. I do have a subdivision on Susan just to make it a little bit more visually appealing. And this seems to work a little better if it's a little bit more subdivided. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the scene tab right up here in the corner and click ambient occlusion. Next, what we're going to do is go into the render pass layer and we're going to select diffuse light, uh, shadow and ambient occlusion. And now we're going to go into the compositor. So you don't even need to do any anything with materials. If you have materials, it looks better, but you don't need it. Uh, we're going to go to compositing. Bring that down. I'm going to add a vertical split. This is just how I like to do it. So this just divides my viewport. On this side, I'm going to do image editor. And then I'm just going to select up in the center here, render result. On this side, I'm going to click use nodes. So this is going to allow me to edit my render. Spread those out a little bit. Perfect. Uh, now we all, all we got to do is render. So there we go. This is what just the basic render looks like with no editing at all. Uh, so now we're going to add in some filters. So the first thing I'm going to add is a filter. So shift A in filter, you're going to go down and select filter. Uh, so it's set to soften. You're going to change that to box sharpen. And this is already going to do most of the work for you. So you can see there, uh, we're already getting a lot of the sharper lines that we want. Next thing we're going to do is add in the color ramp. So again, shift A. Uh, and I'm always going to search for these because I can never find them. So color, color ramp. And I'm going to set this to constant. So just right here, there's a few different options. Set it to constant and move this back a little bit. And I'm going to plug ambient occlusion into there. Uh, next thing I'm going to add in is a mix. So shift A again, search for a mix. And this one, I'm going to set it to add. So this is what the setup looks like so far. And I'm just going to place the color ramp into the image right there. Uh, so I'm going to add in another mix. So I already have one in my scene. So I'll just duplicate it. So Shift D. That's going to set that up right there. And I'm going to plug ambient occlusion, this mix node, into the bottom. And then for this one, instead of having it on add, so this is the second mix node, I'm going to switch it over to multiply. And there you go. You can already see we have quite a stylized image compared to what we started with. And this is very simple. It's not going to work for everything, but if you just want to give your models or renders a little bit of flair, a little bit of a cartoon style, this is going to help you out a lot. And I'll set an image right here of the node setup. So feel free to screenshot that and copy it exactly if you want. Uh, and then a few things you can do is with these other two channels here. So I can duplicate my color ramp if I want. So I'll shift D. And let's say we plug in shadow. See what that looks like. So that's pretty aggressive not very good. I'm going to go with this. There we go. So there's another cool thing. Um, I like the original setup better, but you can play around with it and see if you can make something cool and the style that you want. And that is it for today. 
I will see you in the next video.